the high school graduation photo of young Yu Zhong, 23, who murdered a female classmate she met through a tutoring app and mutilated her body, was released for the first time on July 7 by MBN. According to MBN, Young appears to be an ordinary person. Her high school classmates remember her as a quiet girl who generally didn't fit in, she didn't really talk, went to school alone, and had no presence in the class, said A, a high school classmate of Young's. She didn't have any friends back then either, another high school classmate, Mr. B, recalled, he was the kind of friend who didn't accept greetings even when you said hello, adding, he didn't talk much and didn't answer much. He didn't open up to her when she tried to reach out to him, however, he said he was never bullied or harassed by his classmates. Another classmate said that there were many times when Young was hiding behind the curtain in class for some reason. She was always alone behind the curtain, and even ate her snacks there, said Mr. C, a high school classmate. Bae Sang Hoon, a professor of police administration at Wusuk University, said, it's a pretty big defensiveness that she's trying to hide herself, adding, she's probably a reclusive loner with pretty low self-esteem. After graduation, few of her friends stayed in touch with her, and she was nowhere to be found on social media where alumni hang out, in fact, the cell phone confiscated by the police reportedly contained few friend contacts. Meanwhile, Young Yu Zhang reportedly scored higher than serial killer Kong Ho Soon on a psychopath diagnostic test. According to the police, the Busan National Police Agency recently conducted a psychopathy diagnostic test, PCLR, on Young Yu Zhang. And her psychopathy index was in the 28 point range. The psychopathy diagnostic test consists of 20 questions with a total of 40 points, and South Korea considers a person to be a psychopath if they score 25 or higher. Young's psychopathy score exceeds that of Kong Ho Soon, 27, who was convicted of killing his wife and mother-in-law by setting fire to their home in 2005 and kidnapping and murdering eight women from 2006 to 2008, and was sentenced to death in 2009. Earlier, Young was remanded in custody for killing the victim with a weapon at her home in Jumjonggu, Busan, at around 5.40 p.m. on March 26 and then abandoning her body, she put the body in a suitcase to make it look like she went missing, then traveled by taxi and dumped it in a forest near the Nakdong River. However, he was urgently arrested following a report from a taxi driver who thought it was strange to leave the blood-stained suitcase in the woods.